Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial we are going to download and install Xcode. We are, going, we are going to learn how to download and install Xcode. Now what is Xcode? Xcode is an integrated development environment containing a suite of software development tools developed by Apple for developing software for Mac OS, iOS, Watch OS and TV OS. So basically if you want to start developing your app start coding your ios apps or mac apps any uh, any other apps related to apple you need a development environment where you can start your coding so xcode is the development environment for developing ios and mac apps so let's first begin with downloading xcode for this go to your browser type in apple developer center the first link you can see over here is sign in with your apple id click on that particular link enter your apple id which we created in our last tutorial creation of apple id and register as an apple developer so the apple id which you have been created or you must be having an apple id login with that particular apple id So now you can see the dashboard of Apple Developer Center, developer.apple.com. Here you can see the downloads link where you can see Xcode 8 GMC. This is the latest version of Xcode, but we won't be downloading this Xcode version since this version is in beta, beta Xcode version. So downloading a beta Xcode will contain a lot of bugs. So we need to download a stable version for iOS development. So we are going to download a stable version from this particular link you can see here see more downloads link click on that particular link so yeah here you can see the list of things you can download through the apple developer center so as, as I mentioned in my last tutorial, Apple Developer Center ID is required for downloading all the tools required, all the codes, everything. So from here, we'll download an Xcode. What we'll do, we'll search in the download Xcode application. So now you can see the Xcode part over here is getting highlighted. From this, I'll choose the latest stable version. The latest stable version of Xcode is 7, Xcode 7.3.1. This is a complete Xcode developer toolset for Apple Watch, Apple TV, iPhone, iPad and Mac. It includes the Xcode IDE, iOS simulator and all required tools and frameworks for building watchOS, TVOS and macOS apps. So as I have mentioned, Xcode IDE, Xcode contains the IDE where you code, you actually develop your iOS apps and it contains the iOS simulator so that you can test your apps on iOS simulator and all the required tools. So we'll download this particular version. You need to click on the DMG file, the setup file for Mac. So now you can see the download has been started. But for now, I don't require this download as I have already downloaded. But you guys can continue downloading as you must have not downloaded it. So I'll pause my download. I have already downloaded the latest version of, stable version of Xcode on my desktop. As you can see, Xcode 7.3.1. DMG. So I will show you how to set up Xcode on Mac. You just need to double click this setup file, the DMG file. So now it is saying that it is opening and a dialog box has opened where it indicates you need to drag, you need to drag the Xcode to the applications folder. So what is basically the applications folder? Applications folder is the folder where all the applications you download from internet or from any other thing that needs to be that's need to be located in the applications folder so it is mentioning over here that you need to drag the xcode into the applications folder so yeah now my xcode is being copied to the applications folder as you can see it is written over here preparing to copy to applications so as i have told you Without Xcode, you can't start coding on iOS or Mac because Xcode is the IDE, the only IDE where you can start coding in Objective C or in any other language. You can start coding for iOS apps and then start distributing the apps to the App Store. But you, for that, you need an Xcode. So the first step in iOS app development is to download the Xcode, the latest stable version of Xcode. So it might take some time to copy to the applications because it is getting copied for the first time.
so guys as you can see the xcode contents has been copied to the applications folder now i'll open xcode and check how it works so just you just need to double click the xcode icon So this will take some while because I am opening it for the first time. So as you can see the Xcode dash dashboard has been opened over here. There are three tabs on this Xcode dashboard. Getting started with the playground, create a new Xcode project, check out an Xcode existing project. And there is a checkbox over here which indicates show this window when Xcode launches. If you don't want to open Xcode by default when the window launch, you can just uncheck this checkbox. And in the next tutorial, so this tutorial was about setting up, downloading and setting up Xcode on your Mac system. In the next tutorial, we'll start working on creating, declaring variables, initializing variables, basic part of creating and initializing variables. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.